In early Roman times, glass was a precious material, as valuable as gold, silver, and gems. Glass objects and jewelry were prized possessions, signifying luxury and refined taste. Roman and Egyptian glass artisans achieved different colors by adding certain metal ores to their recipes and by accidental discovery, since raw materials often contained trace impurities. Beaded chain jewelry was extremely popular in ancient times and was made with gems, semi-precious stones, or glass beads. In this video, you will learn how to make your own Roman-style beaded chain jewelry using common tools available at any craft store. You will need needle-nose pliers with built-in wire cutter. The interior jaws of needle-nose pliers are flat. Chain-nose pliers. The jaws of chain-nose pliers are round. 18 gauge brass wire, large glass beads, and 18 gauge 8 millimeter gold toned jump rings. My beads are not uniformly sized, so I must cut the wire to fit each individual bead. Place a bead on the wire spool. I want the wire to project about 3 8 to 1 half inches on each side of the bead. Cut the wire. With the chain nose pliers, Grasp firmly one tip of the wire. Curl the wire around one jaw of the pliers to form a tight loop with no gap. Thread the bead onto the wire and create another tight loop on the opposite end of the wire. Repeat this procedure with as many beads as you need. Now we will connect two beads with a jump ring. A jump ring is a prefabricated length of wire formed into a circle. The ends of the wire lie flush together forming a gate. The gate must be opened before it can be used. To open a jump ring, find its gate. Push the gate open, slip on the components to be joined, then pull the gate shut. This technique uses torque and results in the strongest, most reliable closure. Keep joining bead links until you get the length you want. Be sure you attach a jump ring to both ends of your chain when you're done. To make a hook clasp, fold the end of the wire spool back onto itself about one and a half inches and cut the wires flush. With the chain nose pliers, grasp both of the cut ends and curl them into twin loops.
keep grasping the ends of the wire with the chain nose pliers while you twist the other end, forming a tight spiral. Attach the twin loops to the jump ring at one end of your bead chain and close the loops tight over the jump ring. With the chain nose pliers, fold the spiraled wire into a hook. Then with the needle nose pliers, narrow the loop at the end of the hook using slow, firm pressure. The jump ring on the opposite end of the chain will serve as the loop for this hook and loop closure. 